Our Black Friday sale is now available on the website for the remainder of the month. This will apply on the ebook course and mentorship plans. Private message me on Twitter, links down below for more information or head straight to the website. Amazing to see after yesterday, as we were predicting that this golden pocket would be confirmed as support and a reclaim of the moving averages would come in order to form an EMA repel. All of this has come into fruition. So it's nice to see all of that in today's update. I'm going to explain how the bulls take power off of the bears. And hopefully uh, this high that I will suggest will be broken going forward. So please make sure you stay tuned and like, subscribe, comment and share so we can hit 7.5k before the end of this year. And I've also got a couple days left on my discount. Use the links down below to take action. Now, we saw this small double bottom that we called out in yesterday's update actually break out and reclaim the moving averages we really need to see this ema repel form where price gets pushed back above the moving average just as uh just as they're about to cross over and form a bearish cross we had an ema repel over here however unfortunately we failed to confirm their support and then eventually resulted in a bearish cross sending us down to reset the market at the 200 ema so essentially even if we saw a bearish cross the best case scenario is that it would just dump back down to here and then we would have continued higher simply because this is known as the bottom of our downtrend, our uptrend, this 200 EMA. So we need to see a move where they're about to cross over and then they fail. And when that actually happens, we get a slingshot back above. What we now need to see after this has actually occurred is a confirmation of support on the 0.5 Fibonacci right over here. So essentially in the last update, I did draw the box from 618 down uh, to this level over here on the previous uh resistance of this uh, breakdown over here then we reclaimed it and flipped it into support so that's why i marked out but what i can do for you guys right now is as we uh, i'm going to basically draw out the true golden pocket so there we go and we can see that we broke into it confirmed the lower end of support broke out again with the ema repel looking for a slingshot up so we got slung back above and all we're basically doing now although yes we did lose the moving averages of support there was a reasoning for that as we need to come back down to test the outer edge of the golden pocket now as support so we lost it as support flipped it into resistance here continued to the lower level which acts as support we've also got the 200 ema which is serving as the bottom of our uptrend this was a deviation and a very nice 20 percent move from that uh, from that low over here to the top and essentially what was happening as i said in yesterday's update is a bullish retest of a key level which is this golden cross oh sorry this golden pocket over here on the fibonacci which has now been confirmed by this move up and confirmation of the outside as support so now we need to go ahead and break some key levels which we'll get into right now so continue to hold above 2134 and now we should see a pump towards 2220 cent and 22 uh, six five cent which is the level that needs to be broken i mentioned this area in yesterday's update so if we can now continue we're going to get a pump into this area maybe we fall back down and then keep going into this golden box area this is the high that needs to be broken in order to fully confirm that the bulls have taken power from the bears because again guys when we broke back up above the golden uh, of above the moving averages to stop this bearish cross from happening uh, essentially need to hold above it but we fell slightly beneath it with a risk of a bearish cross forming and actually dumping back down to the 200 EMA which makes this support weaker giving it more validity of a potential breakdown but we've now shown you the more specific reason for why it was actually allowed to dip down below as long as it now of course continues higher from this point if we lose the 0.5 fibonacci again 2134 on the binance chart and then we come back down to this area and this needs to hold and the same thing needs to happen again push out of it confirm it support for the continuation higher however if we can now just continue to hold it and we do see the breaks to the upside uh, the level that needs to be broken for the bulls to be fully in power is this highest wick over here slightly above the seven. 786 uh, sitting at the price of about a 2313 so 231 uh, let's just say 2315 needs to be broken in order to create this reversal wave where we will be targeting prices of 2.5 and almost three cents in the future thank you guys so much for tuning in don't forget to like subscribe comment and share and again two more days of the discount so today and tomorrow if you want to take action the links are down below cheers everyone our black friday sale is now available on the website for the remainder of the month this will apply on the ebook course and mentorship plans private message me on twitter links down below for more information or head straight to the website cheers everyone